All right, everybody, welcome back to the layup. You can see things are a little snowy right now. Just kidding, it's just plaster cloth. Uh, I put my protective newspaper backing up because that's important. And then I plaster cloth this entire thing last night or the other night, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, comes all the way down to here and comes all the way down to here. It's, that's all the plaster cloth I had. So it was a full roll, plus I had some left over from my last house. Uh, very excited because this is like a huge step. Again, it's a, you know, another milestone getting the plaster cloth down. And, you know, when you look at it, like, that looks sick. Except for the, uh, the newspaper. <laughs> right? But once that's gone... Anyways, so, uh, another thing, another thing to note, I built this, this was something that I got in my mail call, if you saw my mail call video, it's like a little utility building, and it's gonna go right there where that little black square is, and this is gonna be like a gravel road that goes up there, so... That's painted, it's put together, and all that. Uh, pretty psyched about the live show that's going to be the uh, Third Rail Thursdays that I'm doing this week. I'm going to be ballasting, uh, well not ballasting, but I'm going to be showing you how I make my ballast. And I will pull out the uh, static grass applicator, and I'm going to test that out, because uh, I've never done static grass before and I bought the static king so I'm going to be trying that uh, and I'll do a demo of it uh yeah uh, but that means this all has to be painted and whatnot so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this brown and get this started so that I you know can start scenicing it I also got my switch machine in it's in there you can't really tell from here but it's there uh, so I'm excited to get that going as well. Might have to wait on ballasting it just until I get a control because I don't have a control for it yet and I need to test it and make sure it's good before I ballast that area. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can always ballast going that way, like from like here back, but it's, you know, come on. I might as well do like this entire, you know, section if that's the case. Anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to paint this brown. Looking forward to the uh, the live show on Thursday. And uh yeah. I might have some cool announcements for you, but you have to tune in cuz that's when all the good stuff happens. And uh I got the contest winners. I figured out who won the contest, the uh, the draws from the Halloween show. So make sure that you tune in to find out who who are the three winners? I've got the uh, two box cars and the N scale uh, Canadian hopper, so or cylindrical hopper. So we'll figure out, or I'll let you guys know who won. And yeah, let's get to work because this is exciting. Because I, I can't wait to get this corner done. Because uh, yeah, awesome. I'm so super happy about this. So let's get to work. Okay, so taking a look, I've painted. The whole thing here brown there's uh nothing left <laughs> i uh, got all the corners here did all back there right up to where it's going to be like the uh, train station platform and i obviously have this here i left that i did my best to paint around it just the little retaining wall nothing crazy but uh yeah, and then I can put my other retaining walls up for the uh, the bridge uh, once this is all in place here, and I'll glue them in. But yeah, it's basically it until the live show, and I'll be able to turf this whole section. I probably won't be able to get the entire thing turfed, because it's, you know, static grass, and, you know, I'm trying it out try a couple of different things, see what works, and, uh, well, hopefully it looks okay, but, uh, I guess, I guess we'll find out. 
Okay, so here you can kind of see the scene coming together a little bit. Uh, I just threw the building there for now, just to kind of see how it's going to look. I'm working on the overpass in the very back there where that battery is. Uh, I've got some guardrails that I'm going to be putting up as well. They're painted and ready to go in place. But I think I want to do the ballast before I secure the overhead bridge. Uh, you know, it's just easier access, I guess, and it'll, you know, fit work out a little bit better that way as opposed to trying to squeeze my hand under there. So I just want to make sure that everything's good with that bridge before I go ahead and I do the ballast. But overall, I think it's going to be okay. Now I'm just getting uh, ready as well to do the uh, the live show and I just kind of put a tape line down to let myself know okay so don't go past that line because there's still a lot more that I have to do towards the yard here uh, down this way and as you can see like you know the, the rails aren't even painted or anything this way so even though I did all this here all this I still have like from here this way to do on the uh the actual tracks themselves which I'll, i will get to eventually um you know i'm working on the station platforms as well uh but i'm not in a rush to get that stuff in i just really want this corner done here uh because that there that line i can basically reach up to that line there from where i'm sitting but when it comes to back there i've got zero access once this helix goes up so uh, yeah, just looking forward to getting that done. You can see I also, I removed the, um, the newspaper that way. I'll have to squeeze some trees in there as well. I have to figure out, uh, as far as trees, what I would be using. Uh, I should be able to get back there. Shouldn't be a problem if I've got like a tree that I need to stick in there, but most other things, uh, might get a little bit, you know, tougher. <laughs> Like ballasting, I don't want to do ballasting if uh, if I can't get to it. You've got to be able to get in there with a brush and whatnot, where with a tree, you just got to stick it in, glue it, and hopefully it holds. But that might be a different story with ballast. So, uh, well, we'll just do a bit more here, and then we'll finish things up, and then we'll get to the uh, the actual scenery on Thursday. <laughs> 